So, oh my god, why is that moving? Just like, what is that? Oh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Electrical intensification detected. <sighs> Super. What the heck is that? I, I don't want to get too close to it, guys. But. Uh, are we actually going through that the tunnel? There is a moving thing here, guys. It's like a uh, a membrane, a moving membrane, opening and shutting, guys. Okay, let's go through that quickly. <laughs> Scrape rover, a rover bears various containers and sample extraction tools. The surface slowly succumbing to rust and deterioration. An old rover. Huh? Uh, looking at a drone here. Twin prop. Kitted for sample collection, looks like. Anything useful? Can we salvage any parts? A closer look, please. Something here. Bullshit. Something moving. Huh. An egg? Is that an egg? Right there. Oh, unfertilized scrubber egg. A scrubber, what are those creatures? Oh, wow, we got a baby here now. We got a baby. Yeah, this thing is also called a scrubber, guys. <laughs> Mother and baby. Mother and child. That looks like uh, a melty popcorn. <laughs> it looks like a popcorn. A vibrating popcorn. Oh, what is happening here? Scrubbers. These are all scrubbers. Oh my god. Pretty. It's hazy on the camera. What is that? Oh, scrubbers. Like the one that melted the crane circuitry. Remember? And you said one by itself could fry your whole suit. Yeah. Are these scrubbers swarming? Yeah, around the docking ring. Then you have a problem. Those are females. They are swarming because they have no males to copulate with. Ooh. Working scrubber broods are always kept female. They're easier to manage. They don't look very easy to manage to me. I wouldn't last two seconds in there. Is there a way around? No. That path is the only one that leads to Alpha Base. We need a male working. I mean, a male scrubber, guys. So the one that I have is a female. Because she is a worker scrubber, guys. Where do I find a male one? I need to create one. That puzzle. The DNA sequencing puzzle. Oh, maybe that was a creature tank over there. I can create one myself by inputting in the, the DNA sequencing guys using those clues. Oh, maybe that's how we do it. We can create a male gender scrubber, one that will be attracted by all the females here. <laughs> one is not enough. One is is not enough for the whole swarm of female scrubbers. I think we need more. Is it even safe to uh, get close to this one? Swabber swab. A swarm of deadly swabbers swarms in the murky water as the water boils from the high heat generated by the electric stream. Blue sparkles are emitted. The alpha base docking ring is tantalizingly close. So I think we are going to witness another death scene. Why not, guys? Insane. You wouldn't make it ten feet in that. No. But I can see the docking ring for Alpha. If I can get there. <laughs> Ouch. Mac has died enough times already in this game. So now is you is your turn, Charlie. You have to die once. Or is it the second time? I don't remember guys. Time for you to die, Charlie. Wow. 
the face is melting away. Her, her glasses remain. Unrecognizable bloody mess. Well, well, well. <laughs> so, uh, what? Only the fifth death? What the heck, guys? The last one was number six. <laughs> Are we going backwards now? <laughs> LG. Can I get close to the diving suit? I, I suppose not, guys. Alright, alright. We're going to go back to. Um, Give this to Mac. It's, a, it's an egg, guys. How do we fertilize the egg? It is an unfertilized egg. Do we look through this using the microscope? Shall we try the microscope? Microscope can do a DNA sequencing for us. <laughs> then we can create a new male gender organism. Let's take a look, guys. Okay, that tells us absolutely nothing here. What do I put on the other side, though? Do, do I put that, that scrubber, the grown scrubber, along with the baby? Got it, guys. Can I use it here? Do I need to detach the helmets? How do we examine this? Do I use another tool? To organic sampler tool? So, combine this here. Okay, doesn't work. Ex as expected, guys. Doesn't work. Masa Yamja student, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? So... Huh... Let's go back to to Moses, guys. Let me go look at that puzzle again. Is this the way? Is it this one? Oh wait, I kept looking at that one, guys. Where is the puzzle again? Oh, it's through the vents. Oh, I forgot. Through the vents. Again, the circle ones. Oh, 
for sample. I think we are creating a male, uh, male scrubber here. Hold on. Is there a way to take a look at this? Is it, it has a long tail, guys. So, and three legs on each side. Right? Three legs on each side. Long legs. Oh, that one! Oh, this one is a four. Maybe it's this one. Okay, three or four. Uh, it's definitely... Oh, it's a four! It's four! The head is one! Oh, ma oh, maybe that doesn't count, guys. Is it a three or four? <laughs> I'm only seeing three. The head has a tentacle thing, too. Is it... Is it this one? A four. So two legs at the back. But it's a long tail, I'm sure, guys. Is it this one? It's a very long tail. I only have one choice here. It's definitely that one. So the body. Okay, what does the body look like? Uh... The head is that one. And now, the body. It's the one with the lenses, guys. With the, uh, yeah, this one. The legs. I can only see three pairs of legs over here. Only three pairs. So it's possibly this one. Because they, the legs are bending back toward the body at the bottom. So I think this is the correct one. The tail. Oh my god, we did it! Good work, Mouse. Good work. Doesn't Finally. look like the same creature to me. It isn't. Merely a proto-specimen. Basic genetic engineering would be required, I'm afraid. Aha! I guess we cannot use... Oh, it's still... <laughs> look at this. It's like a... It's even more babier than the other one, guys. <laughs> So do I now use it with the microscope? Oh, it is on the microscope side, it's on the petri dish. So give this to uh, Mac. Mac is ready to examine this. Compare the two. Yeah! As I said, basic genetic engineering. This isn't exactly my wheelhouse, you know. You are a smart Mac. <laughs> the smartest. So... What? I need to combine these things somehow? No. You'll need to remove the proper gene sequences from the proto-organism and implant them in the embryo version for gestation. Like you said. Basic. Well, we have seen those circle numbers and letters, guys. I think I'm supposed to do that, right? Extract the gene, insert the gene. Oh, boy. Uh, I, have I have taken a picture, too. So, yeah, we are starting at the bottom, 6 o'clock. That was right. So if, if we start from that that position there, uh, we have a U1, a circle U1 at 9 o'clock on one of the sides. So how do I how do I change this cycle? Oh, where is U1? Where oh, is U1 at 9 o'clock? Insert the sequence. Extract the gene. Extract first, and then we insert into the right hand side. Oh, we got it, guys. You won. How do we know which position to put it on? There are four different groups here. So, what exactly is the sequence? You won.
Uh, Mose? Go look at those Hermanos, Mops. C1 XX We don't wait, we do have XX. XX is the base, is it not? Well C1 is that we are supposed to go from six o'clock to six o'clock. Going clockwise. If we look at that main picture with the arrow guys. So C1 is after U1, I'm sure. Now let me copy this down. We got C1, we got U1. C1 and U1. Okay, what else do we have here? XX. <laughs> I didn't see it. XX. Is that the only group? Oh, G1! We have G1! G1. Hey, look at this symbol here. Guys. Look at that. Male and female. G1. Okay, there's another computer. Let me go to the other one. I think there are only two. Actually, not here, not this one. So, the computers. Was there a second one, guys? Let me go back to Maggie for a second. Can I look at this terminal? Hold on. Oh, it's this one. Guys. Oh, this is the one. U1. There's only one here. U1. This is only U1. So C1, G1, U1. It makes sense. You won. This one has no, no groups in There's an A1 over here, guys. Look at the A1. Very faint A1. You guys see it right here. A1. So if we start, start at 6 o'clock, based on this arrow here, we go clockwise. So A1 is the first group. So we have five numbers now. We have A1, C1, U1, G1, and XX. This place is ours! Where is XX? XX is, is not one of the groups. X6 is just an empty slot. A1. Do, so do I input in A1 or not, guys? A1. If we start at this point. Okay, let's extract A1. So if that is number one, then 9 o'clock is supposed to be U1, am I right? Where is C1? <laughs> Let me go. I don't remember, guys. Where is C1 again?
you want is over there at nine o'clock. This place is ours! And only we Oh wait, this is not the one. Uh, through the vents. This one has the XX one, am I right? C1 is over there. So C1 is near the end. So it goes A1. Uh, U1 is at 9 o'clock, am I right? U1. So we don't know where G1 is. Where is G1? X6 is over there. So it goes U1, XX, and then C1. It goes like that. G1, oh, G1 is at 9 o'clock, guys. Oh. Nine o'clock. Okay, this is weird, guys. They are all they. Three o'clock. I mean three o'clock. I'm sorry. Three o'clock. So G one is before C one. G one C one. So is it A one U one G one C one? Let me try the sequence. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Uh, we follow that uh, that clockwise arrow. Then A one is number one. Followed by U uh, one, the one at nine o'clock. U one. Followed by G one. Oh wait, C one goes first. Hold on, guys. C1 is before G1. If we base on this sequence here, G1 is first. G1 is number four. We're supposed to do this in sequential order, guys. G1 is number four. Oh, I was wrong. Maybe I was mistaken, guys. Insert the sequence. Is that... Did I actually... Successful genetic engineering. Ooh. Congratulations. Smartest Mac. He looks tiny. It is in its infancy. But it is in a maturation chamber. You simply need to wait for it to grow. Not sure I like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> we did it, guys. Wow. I can actually see it growing. I'm finding the urge to smash it in the hopes that it won't eat our faces when it's popped out. <laughs> Maturation chamber. So this will grow automatically. It will go into a much larger size. Compared to uh, the full grown version, guys. Right. Now... We give this back to Charlie. Charlie can use it on the swarm now. <laughs> we this this onto the swarm. <laughs> All the females are going to fight for this one single male, guys. Wow. So, oh, she's here. He's ready. In the cell away is a growth of the scrubber, therefore it should be fully mature pretty soon. It's not mature yet. Oh, there's a clock symbol on it, guys. So what do we do? Do we, do we just wait? This chamber of cell away is a growth of the scrubber. It is still a very tiny, tiny blob here. Is there another... Another device I can use it on. Put it in the oven, guys. <laughs> Do we have an oven? 
there was another item. Okay, let me go back to Mac here. Wasn't there a a device here somewhere? A microscope. <laughs> Okay, back to this nightmare. I forgot about this. And we are the Dragon You win. Okay, going there, Mac. I thought I can do something over here. Okay, give that to Mac. Okay. Uh, oh no, it's not here. I remember I can put something inside a chamber. We did that last time, but the puzzle is not complete yet. What is not here? Shower room. Okay, it's actually not here, guys. Maybe it is Moses. Let me go to Moses. Was it Moses? Terminal. Okay, where are you, Moses? The hatch. Okay, we did this already. No, the other way. Oh, Moses have a lighter here, guys. Maybe use it on the pot? Warm the water, guys. <laughs> Boil the water. Make it grow faster. <laughs> We don't want to cook the creature, though. Okay, I don't know where that thing is. Okay, hold on. Uh... Okay, where is the part? Where is it? Oh, right here. Oh. Can we call it Robbie? Robbie? Why? Why call it Robbie, Moses? Very odd. I was so sure, guys. Okay, there's another room here. The newly open passageway. Right there. Canister! What is this? When, oh, it's not here. Hold on, maybe it's Mac. Maybe it is Mac. Okay, give that back to Mac. Uh, maybe have Mac go all the way back out. Oh, this is nightmare again. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, wait! It's a different color. Oh, different color! It just got weird. He's growing wise out of his shell. Wait! It just got bigger. Embryonic now. Is it ready yet? Okay, hold on. Give that back to, uh. To Charlie. It is growing up. Can I use it now? Is it usable yet? It's not usable yet. <laughs> Maybe I just need to wait? Maybe it will grow automatically without doing a thing. Or maybe I just need to transfer it from character to character to make it grow faster, guys. Oh, it's bluish now. Oh my god, our scrubber is finally fully grown and he is keen to get freaky. <laughs> wow, so it is mature scrubber now. It's ready, guys. It's ready to mate. And he has choices. A ton of choices, too. There's going to be a very lucky female here somewhere. It's like winning the jackpot here. We need a lotto. 
Sorry, little guy. I don't think you're going to like the attention. <laughs> the bachelor, guys. The scrubber version of bachelor. Whoa. Freaky. Why does he look so bloody? Oh, is he dead? Scrubby is dead! Oh no, oh no, oh no. What the heck am I looking at? What is happening? What the heck? Is Scrubby dead? I think Scrubby is dead. Oh no, the thing that we created, guys. Scrubby is dead. A sacrifice. Empty diving suit presents his hide. He's if submitting to execution. Scrubby is gone. We sacrifice his life for safe passage. Horrible, guys. Docking ring. No power detected. Hard link connected. Docking ring powered. You have to be kidding me! It has a lock. Warning. 2% of the lives remain. When do I catch your break? Can you rig it? Can you... Let me focus! 2% guys, 2%. Can I use a scrubby here? Another one guys. This is our dear friend. A different scrubby. <laughs> do we have power? Torch. We don't have anything, guys. What can I do? Oh, oh, it's a dead end. Say dead end. Is there anything we can use? Clamp is still secured. A secure clamp? What? What happened to our wrench? We don't have one anymore. Only three things are getting this open. Luck, prayer, or thermite. And I'm all out of the first two. Do I have the third one? <laughs> You're talking like we have the third one. Embalming fluid! Oh, this is explosive embal embalming fluid, guys. This is explosive. And it's not the right thing to use. <laughs> Never mind. Aluminum welding rods. Uh, we the lighter. Okay, combine something, guys. The lighter and the fluid. Embalming oh, fluid should work for fuel in the flamethrower and this lighter. Good work. They'll burn out quickly, though, so move fast. Flamethrower. Underwater flamethrower. Why does it not work, guys? This reminds me of my childhood engineering projects. Only with fewer burner trees and police sirens. Why does it not work? Why is it not working, guys? Why? The hotspot is right in the middle. It doesn't work. Do we need something else? The torch? Oh, hold on. Does it have the torch part here? Combine this two then, and the torch. No. I don't know why this is not working, the flamethrower here. What else do we need? The lighter! We need light it first! Oh, did we use it already, guys? I think we- Oh, it's still here! <laughs> it's already on the device, we combined it already. So, how do we use it, Zan? Welding torch. I'm gonna use all the items here. None of them works.
Okay, I don't get it. Getting this open doesn't tell us why it is not working, guys. Maybe this is just the wrong place to use it on. Let me give this to um, to Mac. He does have an action icon. Now let me see. Um. Yeah, use it here. Strength icon. Doesn't work. No. Oh, I'm surprised that it's not working right now, this flamethrower. Give that to um, Moses. Moses need to open up that door too. We have another spot to use it on. If I can find it again. Oh, oh this is very nearby, this one, guys. Use it on this door. No, we need a magnet. There are three hotspots here, actually. There are three different hotspots. There's a spark going on over there. Oh. So, Charlie is underwater. Where are you again, Charlie? Oh, oh wait! <laughs> we were just using Charlie. Uh, Moses is over there. Moses? Moses, Charlie, and Mac. Frozen terminal. We are here and fire Block and oh, block entrance. Use it here. Use a torch here. Is that possible, guys? Oh, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Let me try something here. Flamethrower! Use a torch! Where is the hotspot, guys? Hotspot! Oh my god, yeah! Whoa! Could this be a death scene? <laughs> Are we killing the creature? Kill it! I hope you find peace. If not the Nexus. It's gone? Burned it. It's dead. Thank God. Spores are gone too. Wow, a hero! <laughs> Everyone is gone, guys. Uh, can can we go through the entrance now? Oh, is that impossible, guys? Body parts. This is beyond horrible. Do I did search the body there parts? There are worse sights to come. Go through the door now. Go through the doorway. But then this block that is totally blocked now. Oh, oh no, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. It's probably the door to Omega Base. Gotta get it open somehow. Yeah. Where is the doorway? Terminal. So, uh, it's Scrubber. 
This is a scrubber. <laughs> a big one, though. Uh, another creature. They have names, said Noah. They have different names. There are so many different kinds. They are not the same. Another one. PMPMR. So, XPNMA. Uh, are these all man made creatures, guys? We know they are some. They are doing some. Oh, they were doing some weird, horrible experiments, guys. So. The scientists, Jen. They're all dead. Probably those power the bodies here in this room. They're all the scientists and staff members. You guys are now part of the research. So, alright. Trash. A closer look! A much closer look! And... Oh, these are all, all Asian scientists, guys. Even though they are... Eyeless. <laughs> the eyes are being all crossed up. But you can see their faces. You can see that... You can still see... The Asian features. They are all Asians. Are these spores? Okay. That is all. Door terminal. A half dozen screens provide readouts of toxin and heat levels for practical experiments. In addition, these computers would offer controls to manage the lighting, airflow, and temperature. Finally, this terminal is in charge of controlling access to the external Omega lab doors. So, is it still in service. Omega door access log from port entry. Uh, a phone number code. Oh, we know the code! Right? From uh, that security footage. Day 20 of quarantine. The situation here just got a lot worse. I've locked myself in the clean room. The organic mass has now expanded to fill the entire lab. It ate forms. That poor bastard made a foot run, but didn't get past the front bulkhead. It was absorbed and digested. Oh my god. I couldn't watch. All of us were having headaches and seeing things. I suggested we burn it. But Gelman said that like hell are we burning these friends. But there is a chance Kane can reverse the process. <laughs> right. I should be safe right here before or behind the observation glass. Digested guys. Except the limbs. Because those limbs and heads stick out from that monstrosity. You can still see their faces, guys. So, it only touches the big bodies. So, only one page? Only one page. Okay. I wrote down the number somewhere. Hold on. Let me look at my piece of paper. The four number... 1467. I wrote it down. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah! It is open, guys. So, ah, we out here, guys. I knew it. The lab. Skewer bodies. A closer look at those bodies. The barbecue bodies. PDA time. Reading time. A motor attached to the winch. The mechanism controls the lift cable, allowing the basket lift to operate. PDA. This belongs to Corbin Security. Tobias Crewman Model Gen 2.0. Personal Android to Dave Gallagher. Company Sync Liaison. King Luna Link successful. Memory wipe complete. Order received from administrator. Uplink close. This is a robot. This belongs to a robot. Encrypt the message. Corbin. 
a new mission. And my plastic friend, keep an eye on Gallagher. Report back. Uh, this is from Stevie G. Uh, diagnostic report. I have been repaired with Dave Gallagher for his tenure on the view. He does not look upon artificial life kindly. Classic, classic yellow leaf. Classic yellow leaf, what? <laughs> yellow leaf is it that uh, organization, guys. The one that is opposing Kang. So, I guess uh, they sent a spy to monitor Dave Gallagher, guys. Corbin is a spy. From uh, from the boss. From King. The lab analyzed the contents of Master Dave Gallagher's stomach and found high levels of peptide SSMTP, a toxin found in the venom of its Scolopendra subspecies I'm opening an investigation to determine where the toxin came from, and whether or not this was an attempt on Master Gallagher's life. I will not be alerting security personnel until they are ruled out as potential suspects. Traces of an anthropod exoskeleton were found in the meat grinder in Mess Hall 1. It belonged to the same species as the venom found in Master Gallagher's stomach. Chef Mason has been placed on leave from the mule and dispatched to Deep Sea 15. All employees who had access to the kitchen are being questioned. Dr. Abdulaziz Al Kabul was also spotted with Chef Mason around the time of the poisoning, but at this point, there is no further evidence to suggest collusion. Huh. So, this robot has uh, his investigative skills. Right? That's why he is in the security team. Because he can investigate, he has that AI. Encrypt a message to CVG. After noticing a considerable decline in my processing speed, I ran diagnostics. I discovered large packs of encrypted files that were somehow hidden from my operation system. I don't know how my firewall was breached or what the files contained, but I am confident they were uploaded by Master Gallagher. How should I proceed? Ooh. I tried to decrypting the files using every known exploit, but no to no avail. Uh, if Master Gallagher is Yellow Leaf, as you suspect, the incorporate is more vulnerable than we imagined. He probably intends to use me to transport the files to seize my clearance, frees me from routine security scans. I will keep an eye on him. We could lead us to others. It's unlikely he's working alone. Internal memo. I'm experiencing a recurring image stutter that overrides my optical receptors. Similar to what humans call a visual hallucination. I, all, I It always ends with my hands around the throat of a man. He humbles, he mumbles incoherently as he struggles for breath. And then he falls to the ground and goes silent. I'm aware that the termination is justified even before Lieutenant Stevie G tells me it is. I don't know if this is a malfunction caused by the file dumps or a glimpse into my life before the last routine data wipe. Maybe it is both. I encrypt the message to Baron, Deep C15. Master Baron, Madame Celia has requested that I bypass her authority and discuss an urgent matter directly with the Choker. The details are enclosed. System file. Quarantine of the lower view was characterized by rampant disorganization and impetuous rationale. Despite my invulnerability to infection, I have been locked inside the temple rooms of the Black Ops unit. Some mothers were also unhealthy when the doors were sealed, but unlike me, they would not stay that way. Yup. So where is you wait, where is this robot now, guys? Where is Corbin? He is a robot. So the spores do not affect him. Right? So could he be still alive? I overheard Master James tell Master Freak that he got a legal eidetic memory enhancement for joining the mule team. If any King officers find these logs, investigate this data exploit vector. The Omega Lab is now a no-go area for human staff. Project Kitchen Knife is on the loose. It has already consumed 
dry gold specimens and most of the remaining Omega research team in blister tanks, so I'm leaving it as a temporary obstacle for the temple infestation. To be safe, I recall the pod to the Omega lab. I'm switching to hibernation mode to conserve what little energy I have, and will awaken periodically to check on the situation. So where is he now? Where is Corbin, guys? He hid himself somewhere. My sim skin is flexing uncontrollably. I need an oil bath and defrag. Nothing to report. Nothing to report except screams heard from below. Starvation and cannibalism are assumed. Wow. Diverting security access to the Omega Lab to preclude access to the view. Motion detected. Investigated. Nothing to report. My neutron power cell is nearly depleted. My gyro woke me up when he detected a position change. I'm being dragged into the well. Limbs locked up. Sisamera. Into the well? He got dragged into the well. Where is the well? That's the last entry, guys. Wow. 